Thank goodness. We, we were absolutely terrified from seeing the reports of, of this weather and the damage that it's done in the islands in the Caribbean. And I don't know what we would have done without them here. We, we're st thankfully staying in a really nice resort and we feel safe. And if we'd have been in our apartments that we've been living in over the summer, goodness knows what we would have experienced. And Sophie, for me, being here for the last week as well, I've been watching, you know, as probably everybody has, the weather channels, the news channels, looking at this tracking. It's, it was going to be 180 mile an hour mm -hmm. winds, force five, going to absolutely devastate uh, Florida. It's doing some significant damage, but, you know, obviously you've been quite panicked over the weekend. Yeah, I mean, I think the track of the storm has been so unpredictable. Yes, the forecasters have changed it so many times, no one's really known what to expect. It was calm and we were like, no, it's going to miss us. And then they've said, oh, no, all of a sudden it's moved and it's gonna, we're going to get a direct hit. We just didn't really know what was going on. And the thing is, for the last uh, few days, everybody in Florida has been talking about this. It's mm -hmm. just almost like the new box set, isn't it? Just watching the hurricane <laughs> tracker uh, on the TV. Absolutely. Everybody that you meet in, in the resorts, in the supermarkets, that's all that they're talking about because everyone is so panicked. I mean, some of my colleagues that I've been working with have lived here for years and years and they've never experienced anything of this magnitude. And mum as well, you must be relieved to sort of be here. I know we're sort of sitting with a, a storm raging behind <laughs> us. It seems a little bit surreal. Uh, but, uh, you know, you're keeping spirits high, aren't you? Yes, we are. We're just getting on with it. We can't do anything else about it. We feel very safe in this accommodation, thank goodness. And I'm just so glad that Sophie and Beth are actually with us because I would have been panicked if I, would have, if I was at home and she was here on her own. Sure. And Dad Stuart as well. You work in health and safety, you're telling me. Do, yeah. This is probably not the most sensible thing to be doing right now, uh, <laughs> in the middle of the night, in Orlando, in a hurricane. But uh, we'll ignore that for the moment. Now, your travel plans, it's chaotic at the moment because they cancelled lots of flights last week. Hotels have been cancelled, haven't they? Yeah. Lots of British holidaymakers have actually been in a bit of a panic because they've been going from one hotel, finding that one was full, skirting across town, finding that one was full, thinking, do I go down to Miami? Do I go up to Jacksonville? But what are your plans now then to get out? Well, we've been in touch with the airlines over the weekend, so we, they've kept us informed of the status of their flights. Um, we know there's going to be an inspection on the, uh, the airport tomorrow, and hopefully our flight will go out on Tuesday. If not, I'm sure they'll rearrange something for us. Now, Lane, Ryan, sorry to get a chance to chat to you and Sophie. Great to see you all this morning. That's the Jackson family from Leeds uh, trying to make the, the best of this situation. And it's nice to see they're doing so with a smile on their face. That's because they're not outside, that's why. Yeah. <laughs>